but we have to learn how to work together. We have to learn how to get in there, and I don't care what it takes to get your nonprofit off the ground. Let's get it done and get it up and running. And we see this all the time in yes. different yes. cultures. Yes. Jeez, don't yes. do this. I can go to, if I had a Jewish daddy, I can go to him and I'm off the ground in five seconds. Yeah. You know, he'll he'll call his friends and he'll call his business people. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn how we have to get back into culture where we get back into working and helping one another. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, so I want you to go out into your community and see whatever it is that you can get from your community, the people that's in your town, and fill those vessels up. And she did. She went out, she went to her neighbors, she went to other little towns, and they filled all her vessels up in oil. She had all this oil, okay? She went back, she said, I did what you told me to do. Nothing happened. She was looking for this great sign. You know, the oils get full, but it's going to happen now, you know? So she went back to him. She says, okay, I did what you told me to do. I filled up all these vessels. Go sell them. What is it that you want me to do now? He says, you go and you sell it. And when he, my pastor had finished the scripture, I sat there like, entrepreneurship, business starting, getting things in order, education. These are the things that help us empower ourselves. We have to have that knowledge. There's a circle. You have to understand the, the evolving circle. And that, that's on your, on your um, second sheet there. It's, it's motivation. And let me tell you something. You cannot go get somebody that's not motivated to work with you. Mm, that's Jesus. not going to work. Well, that is truth. not going to work. You oh cannot goodness, call somebody God. that you know is not motivated to work it's with you. Truth. It is not going to work. And I'm not saying that you can't help them because they don't understand what work ethic is. They don't understand what purpose yes. is. So then you can't drag them along mm. when you're trying to do something. You have to motivate yourself. You have to inspire. You have to vision. You have to have your visions and your goals set up. You have to lead by example. You have to be that mentor and that teacher. You have to get your finances as, that is in order. When you get a chance, look at the, the slides that I have. And look at that evolving circle. Because not only does it involve you, as that circle goes around, you start mm -hmm. to pick up other people. Mm -hmm. You start to pick up other people that's motivated. You start to pick up other people that's going to inspire. Mm -hmm. You know, you begin to pick up other people that's going to have visions that can help and help you. And then you can collaborate right together. You can inspire right together with one another. And that's what brings, that, that's, that's what empowering women is about. It's about empowering one another, not only that, on a personal level. I can come to you with personal, you know, things that I'm doing.